Hello, my name is Jeon Soyoung, an SMS student from Chitati West Campus, here to present my research with the title, Conscious versus Unconscious, the Psychology Behind Littering Behavior. Littering is one of the most spotlighted global issues in our generation, and actually, throwing our trash in the right place is not a hard action to do. But for years, us humans have been showing littering behavior consciously or unconsciously, which raises the question why. Further research on this subject was conducted to investigate the factors that influence littering behavior of individuals and its correlation with health awareness. Does your past experiences influence your behavior till this day? According to Brown from Brunner's ecological systems theory, there are five interrelated ecological systems, the microsystem, mesosystem, exosystem, microsystem, and chronosystem, which develops and constructs the character and behavior of individuals, which can be the key to explain why people show littering behavior. And to get deeper into the development of humans, the guidance in an individual's childhood plays a big role in determining the potential in their development, which is supported and proven by the Vygotsky social learning theory and his research where children showed much more improvement in completing a task and behaving when there was correct guidance. Another factor in the development of humans is imitation. We as humans have the characteristic to imitate other people's behaviors, which is most strong when we are a child. According to Albert Bandura's social learning theory, imitation of behavior occurs when there is a specific model to imitate, where individuals perceive the behavior as positive, where the benefit outweighs the consequence. All of these prior experiences of imitation, education, and etc. creates a mental representation in us, also known as the schema, which works as a lens when viewing and constructing a behavior, including littering. These environmental factors don't just develop behaviors, but also awareness. Health awareness in specific has a direct relationship with littering behavior, since litter affects our health in so many ways. A psychological model called the health belief model and theory of planned behavior helps to explain that people will show littering behavior when they don't perceive threat, effectiveness, cues to action, and health motivation, where the comfort outweighs the consequence. Further research on the subject was conducted by sharing 22 Likert scale questions to participants with age 12 to 19, assessing both their health awareness and littering behavior. After assessing each participant, they were divided into one of five groups of health awareness based on the points, and their littering behavior points were recorded to the group they were placed in. After each participant was assessed, the littering behavior points were average per group to determine and observe which health awareness group has the most and least likelihood of showing littering behavior. And with a total of 149 participants, the results show that the higher the health awareness, the less likely it is for the individual to show littering behavior. This result can be analyzed by first, environment of growth, where individuals who grew up in an environment with litter or littering behavior has a less likelihood of being familiar with health actions, which increases their likelihood of showing littering behavior. Second is social cultural education, where individuals who got correct guidance towards littering behavior and health actions are less likely to show littering behavior. And as a continuation from that, another analysis can be made where individuals who have experience of imitating littering behavior is more likely to develop a schema which leads to littering behavior. All of these factors doesn't only influence the littering behavior directly, but also on the health awareness, where individuals who engage less in health actions are more likely to show littering behavior. And from this research, we can conclude that the environmental development of people and their health awareness has a direct impact on their littering behavior of people. Littering behavior is an ongoing global issue which needs to be continuously addressed and researched to solve. This research can be a great base in creating future research and to strategize a change in our generation, especially to the teenagers. A suggestion can be made by the researcher to make a school environment involving the school elements, such as teachers and staffs, to receive a training in health actions to show in front of the students, which creates imitation and health awareness. After health awareness is formed, we can gradually move to the practical, where the students are asked to um, clean their own areas every day before school ends, which will have to create a sense of responsibility for the litter individual's own. It will also give a great physical guidance in how to waste correctly. Even with some limitations, this method can be a great advantage in implementation with the doable simple task, which creates high potential to be used continuously for a long time. And from that, I will end my presentation here today. Thank you for listening and God bless you.